and so I finally decided to get it. Okay, I just noticed this. Is this the new vacuum? We always have two rugs at the doors and they're not the type that you can take out, um, how you say, Ausstau. Anyways, we need a vacuum. And this seems to be it. Maybe. I'm thinking, I'm not 100% sure. Please don't mind the air conditioner, it's going right beside me. I have a little bit more time before I have to check the dryers. So I thought I'd sit here, it's raining, it smells great, and it it's just, it's wonderful. I'm watching Kona. But welcome back or welcome if you are new to another video. And yeah, let's just get on with the day. I would have said start the day, but I already started a while ago. <laughs> And now I gotta get my stuff ready because today is um, Friday, Friday cleaning. Um, my bucket, a red, knee pads, these things are a lifesaver. But yeah, let's go. Juice, juice, juice. My mom is actually in the preschool today. Uh, it's a full day. It's uh, from 8.30 until 4. My mom and I have it set up so that I do the laundry on Tuesday and she does it on Friday. It works for us, but it's not written in stone that we absolutely have to do it either Tuesday or Friday. And today she is in the daycare. I keep saying preschool. Why do I keep saying preschool? It's daycare. So I did the laundry for her. We were the first washers of the day. And if you're the first washer, you have to be up at 6, so... Being up at six. Uh, oops. We have eight kids, eight or nine kids in the daycare and the ladies that are there are on their own. The girls take turns to help feed them. 
around lunchtime. We each take a week. And that's the bell. Soon I look out the window and I see the kitties going on their bikes. Or sometimes with their moms. <laughs> Some of you were wondering what tips and tricks I have for cleaning. I, I don't know if this is a tip or a trick, but anyways, I just thought I'd share with you again, because there's so many of you new here, my favorite cleaning products, which are right here. This is my all time favorite soap. I have two. This is empty. There's about a drop left in here, but I love this scent. Wait, this is the um, Lang and Jasmine. And this one is the Just Says Fresh. This is my favorite scent. So that one last drop is getting saved for, I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> I should probably use it. But this is it. It's an all natural cleaner. Some of you may know I get very bad dry cracked hands during the winter months and this does not affect my hands. And then this, this is just an ordinary spray bottle, but this mixture is a vinegar mixture. I mix one part soap and one part vinegar and I spray it on my tub. Wood ticks, still around. And I spray it on my tub. Let it sit for a bit, five-ish minutes, maybe more, sometimes I accidentally do more. And then just rinse it with really hot water, squeegee it down, wipe it down and you're good to go. I also use this in my flush. So this is my favorite thing. Actually, you don't necessarily have to do one part water, one part soap. And what I mean when I say one part is, for example, if you do one cup soap, you do one cup vinegar. If you do two cups soap, you do two cups vinegar. But I like to do more vinegar, so I do about three quarter vinegar and um, the rest of the bottle is soap. I just pour it right in here. I don't actually even measure it. I love vinegar. I try to use as many all natural cleaners as possible. These are my favorite cleaners and honestly the only ones I use. I don't use anything else. Anyways, let's get on with our work. I just finished cleaning the bathroom. Now I'm going to dust mop the floors. The wood tick is back. If you live in a very woody area like we do, a little bit of rubbing alcohol kills wood ticks. These are reminders. These are things I need to get from the kitchen. I decided to take a um, kind of a break from cleaning and go to the kitchen and get the stuff that I needed. And on the way home, I kept thinking other people show grocery hauls in their videos. Um, this is my I went to the kitchen for what I needed haul. So I got cereal, raisin bran. I love raisin bread. It's the only place where raisins are acceptable. Otherwise, I don't like them. Then we have coconut oil. We have a big tub, so we just fill up any container that we have. Napkins, paper towels. And that's my haul. <laughs> Those are the things I needed. It's actually better. It's not a haul. I didn't, I, I didn't buy it. Now I need to go do something for mom. She wants me to photocopy something in the school. I mean, we do all have printers, but there's a big industrial size printer in the school. And it's perfect if there's more that you need to print. So I'm gonna run and go do that. I'll clean this up later and let's go. You know what? I'll show you, I'll show it. We'll bring you along. Where's, where's my phone? Because I don't have the time. Whoops. 
140, I guess. This morning when I said I'm taking a break from cleaning, taking a break doing this, I didn't. I didn't sit down and take a break. I went and did something else. I did other things. I did I did tiny jobs that I needed to get done. So I guess really, yeah, it's not it's not classed as taking a break. And that is why I didn't get around to to finish cleaning the basement um, before lunch. Because I was running around doing little tiny jobs and I don't know, I I love that. But yeah, I'm going to sit a bit and read. I have to turn off the air conditioner real quick so you can hear me. Just a little bit. I, I have talked about the book called The Robe by Lloyd C. Douglas. I love that book. It's just, it's just absolutely wonderful. But I found another one of his books. I found it online. I got it. It's a thick one. But by the time it arrived, I was reading something else. So mom decided she was going to read it. So this is her bookmarker, not mine. And now I'm waiting until she's done with it so I can read it. And in the meantime... I decided to start reading this one here. This one. It's one of those books that I got at the thrift store. I was intrigued by the title and the picture on the cover. And then it said New York Times bestseller and I was like, oh, it's a bestseller. It must be good. I'll get it without really reading too much into it. I'm, I'm not very far as you can tell and it's actually interesting and so far I like it but I'm at that point where there's still different characters being introduced and I'm learning about the backgrounds of these characters if any of you have read it let me know I don't know the author this is the first one of his books that I'm reading but so far his writing is very good I am in the mood for a cup of coffee in the kitchen Q&A, somebody asked me if we use coffee grounds or instant coffee. And I said, we, we only grind our coffee, which we do. We don't really use instant coffee. And I have shown in a couple of vlogs where I make myself this. It's basically a coffee alternative. It's called Dandy Blend. It's made from dandelions and it is amazing. It's the only coffee I can drink without cream. And I absolutely love it. But the thing is, if you want it, you have to get it yourself. It's not something that's kept on hand in the colony. I guess I didn't put it in the coffee category because it's made from dandelions. Which is why I said we don't make instant coffee, but I'm going to make myself a cup. If I'm on my second cup of the day, I love to use the dandy blend. Okay, back to reading. So this is the mop that I use for dusting. This? I asked my mom, she said it came with a mop. So, and our mop is really old. So I don't know where anybody could get any. It's the Valida mop. It's this one, like, this one. Does it even come with a bucket? I'm not sure because I don't think ours ever did. Every dishwashing week, the girls take turns mopping the floors and also sweeping, wiping down the stairs, whatever needs to be done. This week, stairs were my duty. currently in the kitchen basement and the girls actually take turns chipping the fries every week. This week is my week. We have them Thursday and Saturday. I want to get a start on it because we have to peel them and go through them. So I'm going to do that part tonight and then tomorrow morning 
I'll chip them. I'll put them through the chipper. But yeah, I'm gonna put on some music and roll the time lapse for you.